Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? I hope you are just having the most awesome day ever and that life is treating you well. I just wanted to film a really chill video where we just talk, we just hang out and chat about movies. I just have some here to show you guys um, from my little collection. There are a bunch of movies that I love that I don't actually own, but I at least wanted to kind of talk about some that I really enjoy uh, because movies are like my thing. Like everybody has their thing. Some people do yoga. Kudos to you if that's like your you know, hobby. Um, some people like to shop at thrift stores or go hiking. I love to watch movies. I could watch five movies in a day and it's why I talk about it in my videos a lot. So I just wanted to dedicate a video to talking about movies and also I wanna know uh, some of your favorite movies. So let me know in the comments section down below. All right, let's get to the good stuff here. Okay, so. One of my favorite movies is Donnie Darko. I remember when I was younger, uh, I think it was like 17 the first time I saw this, maybe 16, and it was one of those movies where <laughs> I watched it and then immediately after I pressed play again. Um, partly because I was determined to really understand what was going on. It's one of those movies where there's a bunch of different theories about what it actually means, but it's brilliantly done, has a phenomenal plot, and Jake Gyllenhaal just like kills it. My favorite movie he's ever done. Another really good one is The Conjuring. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I love horror movies. It's my favorite genre. I'm like completely obsessed. James Wan is my favorite director. Okay, so James Wan has done The Conjuring, Annabelle, the Insidious series. I'll get more into why I like his movies in a little bit, but this movie is freaking amazing. When it came out in theaters last year, is that our last year or the year before? I think it was last year. It was huge because it's a movie that was actually like scary. Everybody has a different opinion on what type of movie is scary. I don't think it's like universal because we all have different fears, but this is definitely one that freaks a lot of people out and it's brilliantly done. It's super good. Um, the score is amazing. Love it. Another movie I really like is While You Were Sleeping. Okay, if you guys, I hope you can like see these. There we go. If you guys have seen this movie, kudos to you. I love 90s movies, like 90s chick flicks, You've Got Mail, stuff like that. It's, it's so charming and it doesn't try too hard, right? And like chick flicks now are just, there's this added level of cattiness to it that's completely obnoxious and Movies like this in the 90s were not like that. Crazy Stupid Love is one of those newer chick flicks that was actually genuinely good. Steve Carell is freaking hilarious. And Ryan Gosling is amazing in this too. One of my favorite like rom-coms. Here is a movie that not a lot of people have seen, but I highly recommend it. It's called The Voices. And it stars Ryan Reynolds. Now, I'm not a super big Ryan Reynolds fan, but this movie, it's about a guy that's schizophrenic and it sort of like puts you in that headspace and really shows you what it's like to be schizophrenic. It's a dark comedy, not really a genre that I usually like, but I would highly recommend it. It's one of those movies where you watch it and it totally blows your mind. So comedy is not my favorite genre, surprisingly. It's my least favorite genre. A lot of people watch comedy and it calms them down and it helps them relax, but it doesn't really do that for me. Anyway, there are comedies I like. I love South Park, for example. I love The Office, but this is my favorite comedy. We're the Millers. First of all, Jennifer Aniston, so freaking attractive. It's like, not even okay. And it reminds me of the movie RV with Robin Williams, which is another super good flick, but it's just, in my opinion, um, 
even better. Also, Emma Roberts, like recently I've been kind of obsessed with her. I've been watching Scream Queens and American Horror Story, the uh, circus one, which is okay. I preferred season three, to be honest. Okay, now I've got like two favorite Disney movies of all time. One that's like old school, one that's a little bit newer. The old school one I love, this is not my copy, this is my family's copy, but I wanted to bring it out to show you guys, is The Parent Trap. I do not know why, okay, but when I watch this movie, I go to like the happiest place humanly possible. It is, a, a lot of people prefer the original and the original is really good, but for some reason, this one gets me right in my guzzard. I'm obsessed with it. Disney movie that's more recently made that I really, really love is Maleficent. I do not like Angelina Jolie. I have never liked her. I don't like her performances. Um, she just always kind of bugged me. She, I'm sure she's an awesome person, but just her roles I have not been super fond of. I saw this movie, I was like a little baby crying, emotional. I loved it because it really broke the mold of girl meets boy, falls in love with Prince Charming sort of thing. And I just, the complexity of Maleficent's character is just completely fascinating and amazing. The composer, which is a huge thing for me, movie scores, the composer of this movie is my favorite composer of all time, James Newton Howard, and he just like crushed it. Okay, we're getting down to the very end here. I think these are my top three favorite movies of all time. My third is Star Wars. Just a couple days ago, I finished watching all of them, um, four, five, and six, and then one, two, and three. If you haven't seen these movies, I would highly recommend it. It's a lot harder when you haven't like grown up on it because the sci-fi is a lot, um, especially one, two, and three, but it is, the story and the plot is exquisite and they just don't make movies um, with that kind of a plot anymore. My mom is just now starting to uh, teach her vocal students, so you're gonna hear that in the background, but I'm, I'm almost done here. Um, so yeah, this is, this is just, I mean, you guys know, you guys have seen how much like Star Wars merchandise I have and the obsession is real. Number two is ding, Silver Linings Playbook. This movie is really special to me. Bradley Cooper is my favorite actor. This movie I watched during a really difficult time in my life. Someday I'll make a video and really like explain all of that. Um, not now, but point being that this is like beautiful and well done and charming and deep. Love this movie. I'm sure most of you know what I'm about to show for my all-time favorite movie because I annoyingly don't shut up about it. Uh, but I want to end this video if you want to uh, stick with me and, and explain why I am so obsessed. My favorite movies of all time are the Insidious films. This is Insidious 1, Insidious 2, and Insidious 3. Jenna, why do you make such a big deal out of these movies? I think inherently it's hard for people to understand because it's horror films and it's horror films are just kind of seen as something fun and something that you watch with your friends and so for it to be something that's my favorite movie, it's it's kind of hard to understand. And every normal scene in a scary movie that's incredibly annoying and poorly done is not done in these films. So in a normal horror movie, the directors will rely on a character being stupid to drive the plot. So the reason why teenagers die is because someone forgot to fill up the car with gas and so their car putters in the middle of nowhere. Someone's being hunted and they trip and fall, or like, let's say there's a haunted house movie. Someone like, here's a bump in the night and they go downstairs and they search the entire house with the lights off. Okay, so these are all things that are just arbitrary and stupid and lazy. Um, and James Wan doesn't do that. If you were to take out the horror out of these films. They would be amazing movies. The concepts of these movies, which I'm not going to 
share with you because I highly recommend you guys watch it and find out that way. The concepts of these movies are so beautiful and amazing and fascinating to me. Each time I watch them I get something different out of it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is horror really comforts me. That may seem weird to a lot of people but it allows me to go to a place that is away from my real life where there's annoying things that I have to deal with and take care of. And it's really pulls me out of whatever state I'm in and brings me to a very present place. It challenges me mentally. Um, and so I really, I really enjoy that. To a lot of people, they see horror as being really dark and sad and like depressing. But here's the thing that a lot of people forget. Fear is something that we actually seek out. It's not just something that we deal with. It's something that we want to experience. And some people experience it in a lot of different ways. Some people go out at 3 a.m. in the morning and do something irresponsible. But it's everybody wants that rush in some sort of way or another and watching horror movies for me is a way to do it in a really healthy safe way i can be vulnerable and i can feel like i'm vulnerable or in a position of being subject to something crazy happening but it's in a really safe place so anyway that's my long short rant about horror anyway these films are just they're brilliant they're beautiful, the acting's phenomenal, the score is just next level. Um, yeah, I absolutely love them. All right, guys, that's it for today. Oh, was super fun talking with you guys. I would love to hear your top three favorite movies of all time. So what are some of your favorites? What are those movies that you could watch a billion times over and not get tired of? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I read everything that you guys leave for me. Thank you for your ongoing support and love. You are the absolute best. Mwah.